Hi friends and jewelry lovers, Lucinda here. Today I wanted to share with you some of my vintage costume jewelry. And some of it is for sale. Uh, I will link some prices down below. This beautiful brooch is from the Trafari Company, which has its roots in Italy. And this is from 1941. The designer is Alfred Spani. And um, on the back, there is a patent number and a Trafari signature. Trafari was a huge company. They did a lot of beautiful, beautiful work. This is one really good example. I'm going to show you some of my items outside as well because I want you to really get the look at it in good lighting. So I'll be jumping back and forth from inside to outside. So this is mostly pave and then there's some bezel set. The setting is rhodium, which is looks perfect. Rhodium is a form of platinum and it does not tarnish, which is why some of this very old costume jewelry looks so perfect. It's expensive to get rhodium jewelry now, but back in the day when vintage was being made, it was actually quite cheap. My pomegranate tree makes a great backdrop for some of this jewelry. So this is also from the early 40s, possibly the 30s. The reason I say that is because the green glass in this brooch and matching earrings is actually uranium glass. And so uranium mineral was added to green glass during the 30s because they believed that it enhanced the color. And then there was some scandal involved because uranium was being used to create the bomb. And so it became illegal in the 40s to use it in jewelry and other decorative glass. And there's a whole crew of people um, that collect uranium glass out there. But this is a really beautiful set. And as you can see here under UV lighting, the uranium glass glows this weird greeny yellow color. This little set, I'm not sure of the date, it's unmarked. Um, I think it's atomic in design and atomic style jewelry was being made from the 30s all the way through the 60s. This is in really good condition. It's a brooch and a pendant. Uh, there's a clip on the back that you can uh, put it on a chain. And these are the matching earrings. And the condition on these is excellent. It's uh, American swedge construction, which is a type of riveting that is on the backs of these. So this is a real beautiful set as well. And all these companies used excellent Austrian rhinestones. This beauty is an Aura, O-R-A. The company was, um, its roots are in Spain and Aura means hour and the company slogan was Jewels of the Hour. And the construction on this necklace is incredible. The pendant is actually three pieces that are, uh, they have like hinges. And so when your body moves, the, the pendant will move around really nicely. It's got very sturdy chain. It's just lovely. This is uh, unidentified and it's done in kind of the Edwardian style, but it's a very beautiful amber color, very uh, unusual color. And I do have the matching earrings here, 
which didn't come with. I bought them, I got them separately, but they do match really well. So I'm selling these together and the price will be listed down below the video. And as for sales, uh, you would just email me. Everything would go through PayPal. It's very secure and shipping within the United States is $6. Now this beauty is a company called Deliza and Elster, and this particular line is called Juliana. And Juliana is highly collectible, very desirable right now. People pay a lot of money for it. This uh, particular set is not for sale because it came from a family member, but it's certainly fun to look at. There's a clip to have it as a pendant, and it can also be a brooch. These are the matching clip-on earrings, and it quite possibly came with its own chain with embellishments to match, and it could have come with a bracelet. Um, sometimes the sets came with two sets of earrings, you know, one fancier than the other. But these are the two pieces that I ended up with, and they are just beautiful. And Juliana is never signed. They came with paper hang tags. And there is a website you can go to. Uh, they have an archive to figure out if your particular piece is a Juliana or not. This set is from West Germany. Also highly collectible right now. People are paying a lot of money for these. They are constructed beautifully. They made they used art glass. Like this glass is was made designed to imitate turquoise and the pearls are also glass. You can see the construction is really beautiful. It's several layers of filigree and there's a signature on that tiny pin going across there. has the matching clip-on earrings, which are really nice. Also signed on the back, West Germany. So these three items are from the Weiss company. And Weiss was a smaller company and they're uh, pieces were considered works of art. They're, they were very exclusive. They only hired people that were capable of making one piece of uh, jewelry at a time. They didn't put out as much inventory and so therefore they're a little bit more uh, exclusive and collectible. And I'm going to show you pictures or, or videos of these taken outside because the lighting is not as good as I would like it to be for these pieces. They really deserve better lighting. The condition on these three pieces is excellent. So I'm not selling these right now. I'm keeping these in my collection. I think they're going to go up in value quite a bit. And I just love looking at them. I'm not prepared to part with them quite yet. This is a bangle, a beautiful cuff with a, um, a slide clasp. There I'm showing you the signature. These are all signed pieces. And the red, red is a, a very desirable color. It's not as easy to find reds out there. Um, they used art glass, like the molded glass that you'll see. There you can see the molded glass, the leaves. And you can also see these are all bezel set. A lot of the costume jewelry of this era was glued down and it wasn't bezel set. And it was equally beautiful, but it's very easy to lose rhinestones when they're only glued in. So this is the other set of clip-ons, gorgeous. 
these are beads. These are Austrian glass beads on the outside, which are actually wired on to the earring. And then there are bezel set rhinestones um, surrounding them. Signed. I have to say they're pretty large. These are really large. These are up close to two inches in height. They would actually cover not only your lobe, but your ear hole. And this color is just exquisite. And what I'm hoping to do with these is maybe find a matching necklace or bracelet. Um, anytime you can have multiple pieces it makes uh, that the pieces more valuable as a set. Even if they didn't originally come together, if they're by the same designers, um, that, that makes them more valuable. And one of the things that also makes Weiss more desirable is they designed and worked with Christian Dior. And I think you can see that um, by looking at the high quality of these items. This next company has its origins in France. This is Hobe, and they used a lot of unusual uh, pieces of glass, art glass, everything wired onto filigree. These are signed as well. And um, if, you, if you study Hobe, you get to know their their style, it's definitely very distinct. One of the things that they were known exclusively for is this little rolly on the back so that when you took the earrings off, you could just pull the earring off your lobe and it would slide off. And nobody else that I've come across has done that. And all this glass was handmade. Here's Kramer. Kramer also was a designer for Christian Dior or worked with Christian Dior. And you can tell by the color that these came from the 60s. Um, they are a really unusual yellow color, signed, very desirable uh, company, Kramer of New York. These monsters are beautiful. This is a 1960s American swedge construction. They are unsigned, but they are perfect, and they're probably two and a half inches in length. They are really big. They're not terribly heavy, but I don't know where you would wear them. They seem like something that would, would have been run, uh, worn on the runway. They're that big, but absolutely beautiful rhinestones and construction. These also gorgeous, uh, gold tone, and they have these AB rhinestones, beads hanging from them. Uh, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and Aurora Borealis was invented by the Swarovski company. And you can see Aurora Borealis is like a coating that they put on crystal, and it gives it that flash like you would see. Uh, it was also called Polar Lights by different company companies. And uh, these are two crystal necklaces that I have available. Uh, they're vintage, probably 1950s. They were very common. I got these and I restrung them, cleaned them and put new uh, hooks and on them. So these are available. And this is a gorgeous one in a blue color and has an extender chain. This one was really, really tiny when I got it. So if you're interested in one of these, we can discuss length and stuff via email. I 
Austrian crystal, leaded glass, reflects light very beautifully. And the final one is this gorgeous pink one. So the, the beads uh, lighten as you go down. The darkest pink is at the bottom and then they get lighter and lighter. They have clear crystal spacer beads in between each pink one. This one does not have the Aurora Borealis coating on it, but it is equally beautiful. 1950s. Solid glass cut crystal. And of course, to go with some giant matching Aurora Borealis earrings. These are about at least two inches in height. They also cover your lobe and your ear hole, but they are really fun and really gorgeous. Now for some brooches. This beauty has what's called a givre glass, and that is uh, a term that means that there is a ribbon running through the glass. So um, as you get up closer, you'll be able to see the glass actually has ribbons of color running through it. The big one in the middle has a ribbon of white. The pink ones have like a darker pink ribbon running through them. There's no signatures on these particular brooches. This is a blue AB brooch, a very atomic theme on this one, kind of a um, like a shooting star or a comet design. I think this is a check brooch, but I'm not 100% sure. It's really, really beautiful, just no matter what it is. See how some of the stones are bezel set and some of them are glued on. This is also a really great beauty. I haven't figured out who the designer is of this one either, but it is very, very high quality. And you can see by the back, this has got a little bit different construction. It's got these pointy bezels. So I need to do some more research on this one, but it is lovely. And this is giant. There was a short period of time in the 40s and 50s, I wanna say like a 10 year period where they made these absolutely huge brooches. It's over four inches in diameter. And uh, I don't know what kind of clothing you could wear it on that, you know, where it wouldn't tear the clothing, maybe coats or something. But um, it's, it's fantastic. This is American swedge construction. A lot going on back there. One of the art beads in the center of one of the flowers is missing. So I'm going to try to make something to replace it. And now you can see this outside. You can see maybe the ribbons running through the givre glass. I love anything with flower motifs. And if you can't tell, I love anything with rhinestones.
Sometimes I buy things just because I, I find them so whimsical. And that's the case with these cute little earrings that are, you know, I wouldn't say they're highly high quality, but the idea, the sewing motif appealed to me so much because I am a bead weaver when I make jewelry, I'm a bead weaver, which is essentially sewing. And I love to sew. And so these little earrings with the thimble and the thread and the scissors, so cute. And this is the final piece we'll see in this video. This is actually the only antique piece I'm gonna show you. This is an Art Deco channel set bracelet, which is sterling silver. And the stones would have been all hand cut. And it is a real, real old beauty probably just right around 100 years old, somewhere between 1915 and 1925. And I do wear this occasionally. The rhinestones or the glass is not foil back, so it doesn't shimmer as much as a rhinestone, but it's still a beauty. Thanks so much for watching, and if you want to contact me, my email is down below. Any purchases will be listed, pricing, and details below the video.